I take care of senior citizens and dads and grandparents too, but um, I love taking care of pregnant moms and kids. Um, you know, I've been pregnant and I know when I take care of, I was adjusted throughout both of my pregnancies and luckily had um, completely natural, no drugs, no nothing, deliveries both times. Um, and it's frustrating to me when moms come in and they're suffering with, you know, post pre and postpartum problems that really they don't have to suffer with. Um, so I work pretty closely with some OBs in the area. A lot of them refer to me. Um, and I, I love taking care of moms that are pregnant because you don't have to suffer for nine months. So I'm sure, has anybody been to a chiropractor before? Yes, yes, okay. I don't want to bore you with like what chiropractors do. I kind of really didn't plan to really what to talk about. I've spoken in the past about pre and postnatal things with Lynn and as soon as I got here she was like, you got to talk about ear infections. So I'm kind of just going to open it up after I do a little brief introduction. Um, let me get my little spinal model. As far as when we're pregnant, um, obviously our bodies go through a lot of changes both biomechanically as well as hormonally and emotionally as well. Um, when, when somebody comes in and they're dealing with either pre- or postpartum issues, it could be something as early as having problems conceived. And there's been a lot of research in the news and in the newspapers lately about how chiropractic care can help with infertility. But when somebody is pregnant and they do start to have issues, many times it is typical things like lower back pain, sciatica, problems in the rib cage in the mid back area, headaches and carpal tunnel syndrome. And what generally happens is, is that as our body's hormones start to increase, it's obviously something that naturally needs to happen, but at the same time it causes laxity in the ligaments and in the musculoskeletal system, which puts a lot of stress and strain on those joints and that creates the symptoms. So in our pelvic area, there's three primary joints. This joint in the front is called the pubic symphysis, and then the joints in the back are called the sacroiliac joints. And this is really the source of most of pregnant mom's problems. The sciatic nerve runs in through this area, and it goes all the way down the leg to the back of the foot. So when you have abnormal function, and it puts abnormal stress on the joints and the nervous system, it's going to cause pain. When we're pregnant, and our belly starts to get bigger, our bodies start to compensate because our center of gravity shifts. So as our bellies are getting bigger and our backs arch this way, we're not going to walk around like this, so we start to compensate and come forward from the mid-back and the neck and shoulders. And that's why oftentimes we'll start getting pain in the mid-back. We may get pain that radiates around the rib cage. Sometimes we'll get pain that goes up to the head and the neck. You may end up with carpal tunnel syndrome. And when you're nursing after delivery, very often these things are more apt to develop even during, during, you know, even during pregnancy because of the position that you're in when you're nursing or you're feeding, which is usually your head is down and you're looking one way. Depending on how you're holding the baby, sometimes you get things like head is elbow and carpal tunnel. So all of these things are really critical to make sure that if you're dealing with them now, you take care of them because generally they won't go away on their own. And if you haven't had them, you're fortunate, and there are ways that you can prevent them from occurring in the first place. Um, so that's pretty, chiropractors basically deal with misalignments in the spine or in any joint in the body, and those are called subluxations. And as a result of the subluxations, it puts stress on the nervous system, and that stress on the nervous system is what starts to affect the function of the body, because the nervous system controls everything in the body, including your immune system. So that's one of the ways that chiropractic care can help you and your family naturally in terms of strengthening your immune system so that you don't get sick at all or as often. And that will kind of lead me into the whole discussion on why would a baby go to a chiropractor? Um, you know, the birth process is obviously pretty stressful. Um, my kids were born, as I said, pretty quickly, naturally, nothing invasive, and they were checked immediately after birth. And as I was talking earlier, I have babies coming in a couple of days after birth. Whether you are born naturally, or you have a C-section, or you have some stress during labor and you need the vacuum suction or forceps, all of those things are, are tremendous stress, not only to your body, but more so to the baby as it's going through the birth canal. So that puts a lot of stress and strain on the head and neck especially. So some of the things that are often associated with that stress and strain are things like colic. 
gastric reflux, which is hugely diagnosed now. Um, ear infections. Um, I have a lot of kids that come in and they're constipated. Um, as kids get older, you know, they're learning how to walk and how to sit, and they're constantly falling. We put a lot of stress on the sacrum or on, on this area again. And those little jolts and, and stresses as we grow up, they may not cause symptoms right away, but as we get older, and sometimes even not until we're adults, they can start to cause problems like, you know, scoliosis, or maybe you start noticing your posture is off, one leg's a little shorter than the other. Maybe um, you start to get headaches as you get older. All of these little things that develop over time can have really happened when you were younger. Um, so, I know, Lipsy, you had some questions about